Welcome back to the amusement park. I really, really need to come up with a name for this. Um, in this video, I'm going to be finish, finishing up the coaster I was building in the last episode, this one over here. Uh, I think I've also chosen a name for it. I don't remember if I said that in the last episode. But the way I'm going to be doing this video, I'm going to try a bit of a different format, uh, partially due to the amount of time I have to record this, because I kind of was lazy and didn't work on this at all until the day before I said I was going to upload it. So what I'm going to be doing is just uh, a more of a progress update style where I show what I've done and then I work on it for a little bit and then come and talk about what I did for a minute or two and then cut away to have made more progress. Uh, let me know what you think of this style in the comments and let's get into the very first progress update. So it is several days later, as evidenced by the fact that I have a thousand more credits and like twice as much money. Because to be honest, I sort of just gave up on having this video out when I initially wanted to. But as you can see, the station is done. And um, I don't think I mentioned this before, but I'm going to name this ride Quicksilver. Because uh, the ride is gray and silver and, and it sounds cool. And there's literally no justification other than that. So this definitely needs a little bit more cleaning up. Like there's some bits like these don't actually go all the way up and I need to do some more detailing around here, maybe something in here. But as you can see, I mostly just filled out the queue and built the station building here. The queue is pretty simple. I have this little cattle pen area. This thing would rotate in theory. That's why these aren't quite connected up. You walk through here, head up to the top of the station, and then you've got your little uh, entry rows. Um, yeah, the entrance does clip through this, but I don't really care enough to do anything about that. Got some lighting up here, and the station fly-through actually looks pretty good. I mean, aside from the fact that it's unsupported, there might be some places that I end up building some custom supports for, but I'm not sure if I'm going to have the patience to do that. And I do also have to go in here and do something in this area, because just leaving it empty is a little weird. But I think what I'm going to work on next is just trying to get a little bit more of this path done. So I will be back once I've made more progress. So I think I've made some pretty good progress. Um, this isn't completely done, of course, but I've started to lay out the path. Uh, it's a little bit wonky in some spots, but I'm just going to settle for that because, to be honest, I'm not trying to make this part perfect. I don't want to spend way too long on this. I've already spent a lot of time on this, to be honest. And it also looks like I forgot to delete my temporary fence template pieces, but whatever. I'll just leave those there. Uh, so I made this fence design. I colored the path a little bit more of a dirt or dark stone type of color. I don't think I mentioned that this area is going to be mountain themed, or at least vaguely mountain themed, since I figured a mountain theme is going to be an easy enough thing to do for this coaster that'll make sense. And I was looking in this empty area, I realized that a topple tower would be perfect to put here. So we have this ride. If anybody has any cool ideas for other names, make sure to leave them in the comments, but otherwise I'll probably just call this thing Cliffhanger since it is basically hanging you off a cliff. It makes sense. I also don't have names for the Observation Tower or the Balloon Ride, so if you've got ideas for that, throw those in the comments as well. But yeah, pretty much the only other things I've done is added some little planters that I'm going to fill up eventually, and I've started to lay out the queue for uh, the Topple Tower. And I guess I also started on and didn't finish a little control booth for this ride since I realized, you know, I'm trying to make this park realistic. It might not be the most detailed thing in the world, but I want to at least have some elements of realism that aren't normally present in the game. So that's going to be the operation booth. Probably going to build one over there as well. And yeah, I think one more progress update and then that will be the end of the video. I'm probably just going to try to get some theming down for this coaster. Maybe some more rocks, so we'll see how much of that I actually bother doing. Alright, the coaster is basically done. It's, it's still not completely done. There are some, there's some more I could do, but I think uh, what I have for now is going to be pretty good for this episode. Um, I'll get into a POV of this uh, in just a minute, but first, the few things I changed. I added a little bit of theming down here. Not that this makes all that much sense, but it's sort of the easy theming pieces that the park could have shoved down here just to say they themed it. I also obviously made the entire ground rock and did a little bit of detailing in this area as well, sort of the same deal as underneath the station. And actually, I need to fix that Z fighting. 
But other than that, pretty much all I did is I made this placeholder sign. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the signs for this ride or for rides in general. I kind of want to do image panels, but I would need to figure out how to make good image panels for that first. Um, oh, and I did finish up uh, this ride over here. So I've added a little bit of an operator booth, given it some pretty basic uh, detailing and some rocks surrounding it. And then I was thinking about adding in some rock work around the coaster, but I decided that I'm not going to do that yet. I might end up doing it in between episodes, but I'm not really 100% sure about that. And this area definitely started to be a little bit more themed than I was initially intending, since this is supposed to be sort of a low theming amusement park that's mostly just rides for the sake of thrill. But my explanation for that is just going to be that this is the newest area that they'd added into the park. Um, after all the other areas pretty much and so they went a little bit higher on the theming with this than you would see in the rest of the park and that I'm just going to say as a disclaimer so that I don't have to detail anything this much in the rest of the park but other than the POV which will be in just a second that is going to be it for this video if you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and check us on my other videos but yeah enjoy the POV and bye